So it's important when you're preparing these, these stems for running on the HP1 that you leave enough, uh, enough material there, about three, four inches of, of uh, stem, for it to grab. Because if it doesn't push through the hole, doesn't grab with the roller, it will not push it in through the machine. So you can see how quickly this would, you know, uh, improve and streamline your process rather than doing this by hand much easier on the hands much easier on the body and there's only so you know you can sit there and do this all day it's actually fun to run using these machines as opposed to doing it by hand which is quite the painstaking effort i'm going to get a little closer here There's a nice big stem there. You can see the difference in stem size is all the way from little stems to, to enormous stems. And like that one we just saw a, cu a couple seconds ago, that's you know, really getting close to that you know, three quarter inch stem size. So when you're running wet material, and that stem is still at its biggest size, it's really, uh, really nice to have that three quarter inch uh, stem size accommodation. Not all buckling machines in the market can accommodate that same size. I'm going to jinx myself here, but you can see the jam ups are quite rare with these machines. You can run them for hours without having any jam ups. But in case you did ever have a jam, only that would be stem right there. There again, so that would not fit in most other bucket machines on the market today. And so you'd have to do that one by hand. So having that mixture of material you have to do by hand and you have to do it by machine kind of eliminates the need for having a machine. So that's why ours are so much better. You can to run it pretty much all your stems for it without having to hand block any material. So, but as I was saying, it's very rare to get jams, but if you do, we do have a reversible speed on this machine that will allow you to dial it back off and then, and then you can pull the stem back out if it did happen to get stuck. If we do have a jam during this, it would be nice to demonstrate that, but I don't think we will because, like I said, you can run for hours and not get a jam. And that's just because of the neoprene rollers we use on these machines. They're top, top of the line, better than most of the other market, uh, other brands on the market. And so you get that much better run. We do offer a triple model of this machine, a triple workstation model, really good value. Comes out to being just a little over the price of two of these machines. So what a lot of people I've talked to are doing is they're buying that machine just so that they, even if they're only running one or two workstation heads, it's going to double or triple the longevity and lifespan of that machine. Uh, so they just take, take advantage of that good high value to buy the triple workstation model. You can start to see how much material we're going to start to build up in here. And this is going to be the same material we're going to run through the trimmer after this, the gladiator trimmer. And so you're going to see the exact same material that's been bucked using this machine. So it's just like a really nice clean workflow. It'll fit in a very small space in your, in your uh, operation. 